Gary. Your father was a photographer. Old school. Dark room, chemicals, all that. Too stubborn to embrace the digital age, I think. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have any photos either. Yeah, well, I hated him. Cell phones, I mean. It seemed like everyone walked around with their noses buried in the damn things. I never owned one. Interesting. How'd you manage that? I worked as a mechanic. I, uh, I had my own shop. Probably had the last landline in Farewell. Now you're gonna pay. You guys are taking this shit seriously. The Colonel believes with enough motivation and discipline, we can achieve anything. Come on, hurry your ass up. I'm going as fast as I can. Just move it! Is that your idea of motivation? The Colonel has set up a work camp on the south side of the island for those unfit to serve. Some of them require extra encouragement. I'll bet. Come on, follow me. Yes, sir. Stand up there with the others. Good luck, St. John. <laughs> Got your ass too, huh? Whatever. Hey, man. It's good to see you again. St. John, right? Son of the preacher man? Taylor, what's this son of a preacher man shit you keep saying? I'm just kidding with you, man. Hey, do you have any luck? What? The, the woman you were looking for, you and your peeps are riding with. No. I need all your jewelry, watches, shit like that. Come on, in the bag. What? Sure, man, whatever you say. The hell you say? Recruits aren't allowed personal effects. The side shit's just gonna get stolen. Come on, cough it up. Oh, yeah, shit's gonna get stolen. Goddamn bullshit. Tin hot! At ease. Visitors are not welcome here. You are here because you were invited, recruited by my trusted officers. When you answer me, start by giving me your name, last name first. Getting by, same as everybody. Name. Atkins, Crystal, sir. How many men have you killed? Before or after? Answer the question. Fuck you! We have all done things that we're not proud of. What? To survive, to stay alive. The Almighty understands this. The Almighty forgives this. But here, on this woman's face <laughs> are the footprints of Satan. <laughs> Prison tattoos. Proof of what you once were and no doubt still are. It's people like her that are responsible for bringing the wrath of the Almighty down upon us yeah. all. <laughs> Take her to the work camp. What the? Yeah. Fuck you! Yeah. Fuck you! Come oh. on, gorgeous. Let's go. Goddamn go. redneck assholes! Get off of me! Yeah. Yeah. Swear God. What about Get you? Off me. Uh, you Taylor. Uh, wait. And um, no, sir. I uh, never been to jail. Never killed anyone. Nothing like that. You've been in the shit for a long time. Yeah, I mean, I, I know. I know how to shoot stuff. My, my dad took me hunting when I was a kid. Was at, at a camp near Klamath Falls, it got... And how about you, son? You know how to use a gun? St. John, Deacon. Yeah, I know how to use a gun. You're a drifter. Hold out your right arm. Tenth Mountain. Iraq? Afghanistan. 
Honorable service, and don't lie to me. I'll know. Served one tour, served with honor, hated every goddamn minute of it. <laughs> Thou shalt not lie. Good man. Hold up your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to support and defend the new Constitution of these United States? Against all enemies, natural and unnatural, to bear witness and support to the same, and to obey all orders without question. So, do you swear? I swear. Walk with me, son. Captain Curry doesn't bring me many recruits these days. You must think highly of your combat skills. Uh, I've been in the shit a long time. You know your way around the freaks? Yes, sir. I, uh, I know as much as anyone, sir. Good, good. In here. We'll have the doc take a look at you. Pulse is strong. Good heart rate. Got a pretty nasty burn there. How'd that happen? Uh, had a run in with a wood stove. Wood stove, huh? Who dressed this? I did. No está mal. Not bad at all. Thank you. Keep it dressed or you're gonna lose that arm. You hear me, amigo? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I hear you. I want you to check back with me in a few days. Got it. Well, Doc? Ah, he's fit to serve. Lo hará bien. You doing runs out in the shit? <laughs> Sorry, Doc. Uh, ya tiene novia. Uh, he's spoken for. Let me guess. The Wizard Island Witch. Mm. Uh, Vaya con Dios. Good luck, amigo. Let's go, son. I normally don't tolerate insubordination, referring to an officer as a witch. But I make exceptions for some of my more eccentric officers. Yes, sir. I make exceptions, because every man and woman still living has a role to play. Do you believe in God, St. John? Never gave it much thought, sir. Well, it's high time that you did. He has a plan for us, all of us. And my part is this. Sir? This place, I had a vision. Oh, nothing so grand as those described in the Old Testament. No flaming chariots or burning bushes. I simply woke up one morning before God's plague had rained down upon the world and knew that this was the place. Crater Lake, uh, Wizard Island. I call it the Ark. Are you familiar with the story? Yeah, I mean, yes, sir. I mean, everyone's, everyone's heard of it. Indeed. You'd be surprised how few have read the Bible or the Book of Revelations. You mean Genesis, Noah's story. I mean, um, that... It's, it's the Book of Genesis, sir. Yes, of course. Okay, son, let's get you squared away. Whatever you say. Now, we don't have much in the way of uniforms, I'm sorry to say, but uh, I think that... Uh, oh, here. Try this on. Seems to fit. I'll take that. Well, if you don't mind, this is a gift from an old friend. An old friend? Not many of those left anymore, are there? No, there are not. Okay, soldier. But I don't want to see you wearing it. You're one of us now. And normally, we start new recruits in the rank of private. But since Captain Curry has vouched for your experience in the field, we are starting you out at the rank of corporal. Thank Congratulations, you. son. Thank you, sir. Yeah, let's get you some work. Oh, 
All right. Now, what was I saying? Uh, you were telling me about the Ark, sir. Yes, the Ark. What you see here is only a small part of it. Behind us is a whole network of caves and vents that lead from here up to the Cone's Peak. When our work is complete, they will be filled with thousands of seeds, plants, computer files, and books. The world may die, but our achievements in medicine, science, and technology will not die with it. No, sir. But the island is more than just an ark, Corporal. It is a stronghold, a fortress. Here at the North Gate, we are stockpiling enough munitions to take the fight to the freaks. We have rifles, grenades, heavy machine guns, and RPGs. We have the equipment to make ammunition, every type, every caliber. This is our mechanical engineering area. If you need your bike repaired, see the officer on duty. And as you can see here, courtesy of the old National Guard, we are building a fleet of trucks and other vehicles. Once the hordes are cleared from the highways, we will begin to rebuild the roads and bridges. Your slash and burn strategy may stop newts and swarmers, but it won't clear the highway. It won't, it won't stop the hordes, sir. We are aware, Corporal. The hordes. The hordes are a different beast entirely, aren't they? But we have a plan. Plan, sir? Benjamin Franklin once said, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. We are not going to fail. The heart of the army lives here, at the gate, ready to move on my command. These tents house hundreds of women and men, just like yourself, who have pledged and sworn their lives to the fight. But I have something else in mind for you. An assignment that requires more than just the ability to survive in the shit or use a gun. Are you up for it, son? Uh, yes, sir. Wherever you need me. You asked how we were going to defeat the Horde? Let me show you. You okay, Lieutenant? Oh, hey, Colonel. Sorry about that. Too much acetone in that batch. Lieutenant Weaver is our chemical engineer. He's working on new ways to, to blow shit up. Feet the enemy. Sorry, but yeah. Uh, name's Weaver. James. Saint John, Deacon. All this militia shit's just for show, right, Colonel? Corporal Saint John is new to Corey's unit. If you need anything from out in the shit. He's your man. Oh, shit, yeah. yeah. There's a couple of things I need. What are you working on? Oh, just the new gelling agent combining naphthenic and palmitic acid. Oh, you working on napalm? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this dude knows his shit. Uh, just a lucky guess. Uh... <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt. Oh, any time. Oh, Colonel. I'm getting real close, Colonel. Very close. That's good. That's really good. Where are you going next, Colonel? Wizard Island Witch? That'll be all, Lieutenant. <clears throat> Again, let me apologize for my more eccentric officers. No need, sir. We have one final stop. As much as I believe in Lieutenant Weaver's work, what you're about to see could be, I think, our path to victory. In here. All right, what is this? Ma'am, I got everything on the requisition form. Does this look like fabric softener? No, ma'am. Okay, well, why don't you read it? Active ingredients. Chlor chlor chloroform and uh, eight. Turpin, tur Get out. Shit. Get out! Matt, I can't do this if I have to do my own supply runs. I got it covered. Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal St. John. 
He's a new member of Kuri's unit. He's got some experience out on the ship. Read this. What? Read this. I mean, you can read, can't you? Active ingredients, chloroform, aterpenol, benzo alcohol, ethylacetic acid. Good enough. When can he start? Ah, I'll leave you to it. Carry on, Lieutenant. Leave us. Sir. Stand at attention. Dead. Hey, hey, hey. You're dead. It's okay. You're dead. I'm right here. Wait, wait a, wait a second. I, I don't understand. I couldn't I, I find you. you had died and I, uh, No, we were overrun. Was and and we had to go south. We, Nero, they yeah, said Nero, that no, no one I made it out. Ryan and Farewell was overrun. They said that everybody the was mountain. dead. And I, didn't think that I never thought I would see you again. Seen. Listen, we can ride out of here. We'll pick a direction. We won't look back. Come Please, on. No, no, Deacon. I can't. Are they forcing you to stay here? No, you don't understand. We're fighting a war. Don't you see? This is a war that we can win. I didn't come here to fight a war. I can be helpful. I can make a difference, but I... I can't go with you. I have to stay here. Don't you get it? You, you can stay here with me. Help me. <sighs> Look, afterwards, whatever you say, we, we, we can go wherever you want. <clears throat> Colonel's looking for you. Whatever you say, ma'am. Wait, wait a second. Your requisition form. Thank you, soldier. Saint To Lieutenant Weaver. Come back. St. John to HQ. This is Weaver. What can I do for you, Corporal? Uh, your requisition form says you need mercury. Any idea where I can get it? Yeah, sure. I should have written that shit down for you. It comes from uh, Cinnabar. Corey's unit scattered out of mine north of Diamond Lake. Head there, radio me when you arrive. Hey, what are you doing yes, sir? here? Between you and me, if the colonel isn't around, stop with all the yes sir, no sir bullshit, all right? Makes me feel old. 
Corporal St. John, is it? Yes, sir. Come in. Just enjoying a cup of tea, herbal, courtesy of uh, Lieutenant Whitaker. Would you like to try some? It's very good for the digestion. Uh, no, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm, I was just looking for the duty roster. I have an assignment for you. Men, Corporal. Not that they deserve to be called that. They've taken one of ours. Lieutenant Justine Norwood. Fine officer. And they have her, so, uh, yes, I will get her back, sir. With the help of men like you, we're going to take back this world. Dismissed. St. John, Captain Curry to Deacon St. John. Please report to me at Diamond Lake. Yes, Captain, I'm here. Uh, copy that. Open up. Corporal, can I be of service? Hey, yes, Sergeant. Corporal, so how long were you in the service? I mean, yeah, I missed the swearing in, but I can always tell when someone served. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, four years. 10th Army, Afghanistan, and like I told the Colonel, I hated every goddamn minute of it. Corporal St. John. Corporal. You stay safe. I ha haven't Got seen that. you around before. L Lucas Monroe. Yeah, uh, I just shipped in, you know. Uh, Deacon St. John. Oh, Cor Corporal St. John. You, you stay safe, yeah? Corporal. Good. I have a job that requires your unique skills. Uh, sure, yeah. Uh, yes, sir. You remember Vasquez? The man that went AWOL. Yeah, we tracked him to the logging camp, I remember. Well, this man, Sergeant Lee Anderson, was his partner. He was about to be arrested when he killed a guard and took off. Oh, your men have quite the code of honor. Our men? You're one of us now, remember? I've marked the location on where he was last seen on your map. Apparently, like Vasquez, he wasn't alone. Great. Corporal St. John. I 
hang on, I'll open the gate. <laughs> St. John, Corporal St. John. <laughs> you got your ears on, man? Hey, is this, is this thing gonna work? I don't think it's ready. Taylor. Yeah, your radio works. What's up? Deacon St. John, hey, uh, I mean, you know, nothing. It's just, <laughs> just checking in on you. I haven't seen you since the whole swearing in thing. That was some shit, am I right? <laughs> Taylor, you know, I'm kind of busy. What? Hey, hey, what, what, the, what the hell you, you got, they got you doing? Huh? I'm, I'm in the damn infantry or some shit. Spend all day burning out nests. Lieutenant Weaver, you there? I'm at the mine. Good, good. Okay, man. You take a look around. The report I saw a listed ore testing kit. You're gonna need one. An ore testing kit. Copy that. The uh, cinnabar is kind of red, but not shiny. It'll have a dull luster to it. It's gonna be hard to miss. Test the ore. It's gotta be at least 60% pure, or I can't use it. All right, got it. Testing kit, testing kit. Where the hell am I gonna find an ore testing kit? Maybe one of these uh, shacks? <sighs> not that in here. Fuel can. I need a testing kit. I don't need fuel. Here we go. Or testing kit. Yeah. What did he say? Red rock, dull luster. Cinnabar, yeah. Yes, you'll work. Let's see if this pump is working. Damn it! Come on, 
door. All right. Gonna need more cinnabar. More cinnabar. Yeah, that's it. Water's going down. Gotta finish collecting this ore, and then I gotta get the hell out of here. Cinnabar. And now I just gotta test it. Yes, you'll work. Yeah, almost enough. Samples is all I need. Let's test you out. Nice. This will work. Just one more. More Cinnabar. That's good. Come on. Oh, yeah, we'll do. Elevator shaft. Oh, God damn it. Wonder where this goes. Only one way to find out. Looks like this one was abandoned a long time ago. Huh, I haven't been up here before.
Uh, Nero injector, just what the doctor ordered. Ah. Well, was feeling a little under the weather. Ah, uh, micro recorder. Jesus, huh? that's a big guy. Yes. Yes, it is. Field note 2072. We're at site 69. The. Where are we? The lost cabin mine. Thank you. The lost cabin mine. We have euthanized a specimen of home. Lieutenant Weaver, this is St. John. Got the Cinnabar you asked for. Field note 201. St. John, good. good. Where 6, I'm almost ready for it. Was oh, hold on, sir. Where 6,000 milligrams was barely enough to subdue the homo sapiens mutans albino. We tracked this subject from its primary habitat and structures on the northern yeah, river crater lake. Yeah, I got a bottle of vodka back in my tent. What used to be the visitor center, I believe. Jesus, you never get out of here. Currently, we Don't have no working theory as to the subject's migratory habits. They got me going out into the shit, finding supplies for the officers, working on... Oh, shit! Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah, working on uh, on uh, bioweapons, chemical <laughs> weapons, shit like that. Burn them freaks the ground, am I right? Fix this. Huh. Yeah, look, Taylor, I gotta go. All right, all right, hey, um, hey, look, man, it's, uh, it's just, I'm, I'm, I'm having second thoughts about all this military shit, you know, Oh, Taylor, what radio are you on? Are you sure? Not being monitored. Oh, shit! Huh, that's what I thought. Gotta go. St. John out. Ah, uh, you feel that, huh? Goddamn sniper. Captain Corey, I'm gonna say where Sergeant Anderson was last seen. Well, he still has it. All right, Anderson. Let's go take care of business. He's gotta be here somewhere. Where the hell is he? What do we got? Shit, how he moves.
Okay, let's see what's going on here. What is that? Anderson, another dragon? Oh, how the hell am I gonna get my bounty? Dead coyote lava cave. Nomads. How long you been up here, huh? Setting up ambushes, hit supply runs. Oh, what the hell is that sound? Corporal Deacon St. John. <laughs> hey, you got your ears on, man? Hey. Taylor. How do you One, need? Four, six, there you are. Okay. Uh, so I finally figured out how to do this thing. Right, we got a secure one. channel and everything. So how's it going, man? Taylor, I'm busy right now, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, man. Sorry. Uh, hey, so, words out of the camp, the drugs are making their way in, right under the colonel's nose. Yeah, he's it's good stuff, too. In the research do division. About that? Uh, I don't do drugs, is, Taylor. You know, no, I don't know anything about it. Why? How did it jump? No, 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 no. I don't, I mean, we I don't see either. I'm just, cats, I saw this guy, you know, one of the new recruits acting all suspicious. I didn't think it was possible. You know what viral is not a normal basis. I thought I thought follow him, right? Let's see what the hell he's about. Think oh, Taylor, listen to me. Just go to Corey. Let him handle it. Got that? Yeah. Depending on who you ask. All of which cats, oh, rabbits, yeah, dogs, okay. horses, skunks, possums, fawns, yeah. and monkeys, ground dogs, and yet wolves. Let's see if it's the mm. spread the virus. For us, I mean. The musculature on this subject. and radial tuberosites. A normal wolf. Run 31 to 37 miles per hour. This guy? He could top out at 60. Yeah. And he could shoot the tire off a motorcycle while doing This is Radio Free Oregon. What it means for us. She'll set you free. The fish will glad that these. those mammals are going Suckling to Suckling at the teeth of us taxpayers. They're them than us. They're dumb as they were. Let's get out. underestimate. You gotta know the chief yeah. of the dogs are hiding in <laughs> some bunker, waiting for the freaks to get off. <laughs> save the hungry. Or their precious <laughs> constituents. You know the real reason they're in power. They saved the elite. The men and women who played ball. They're sitting underground, probably drinking champagne while they wait. Meanwhile, we're out here dying, suffering. Also, the feds can hit the damn reset button. They didn't account for what they Not as stupid as they thought they were. And once they emerge to reclaim the world, the freaks are gone. We'll be waiting. Yes, we will. But they'll be sorry they ever came out of hiding. This is Mark Cooper for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Ah, oh, Jesus, even all the way down here, I can't get away from goddamn Radio Free Oregon.
breeze through here. Oh, you still got your militia armband?
Just gotta go back and turn this in. Hey, keep the Corey's unit. Open the gate. One, two, you are new one, here? Two, one, I am two, Lumi Ikeda. Deacon, Deacon St. John. You're, uh, you're the back. Goodbye, Corporal. Safe travel. Howdy there, Corporal. What's up? Hey, Sarge. Okay. Oh, I like that one. Okay. Corporal, stay out of trouble. Corporal, uh... What can I... So, uh, where are you from, Lucas? Was it? Uh, I, I can't place your accent. <laughs> that obvious. Y yeah, fr fr from Canada, originally. Yeah, I was down here on holiday with the family. Yeah, doing a bit of camping out, you know, uh, w west of Crater Lake. The wife and kids, uh, my boys, would have been eight and nine this year. Canada, huh? You're a long way from home. Ah, oh, tell me about it. Yeah, I, I was a teacher, uh, engine Why repair in Calgary, at the Technical course? Institute. Have you, you ever been? With my no, no. Corporal, you like it stay safe much? out there. Do you want to run it again? Then be my guest. Captain, I yes. found your man, Anderson, and you were right. He still had his militia insignia. He's dead? Well, let's just say that he had a run-in with a pack of wolves long before I got to him. That's a fitting end for a murderer and a thief. Yes, sir. Thank you, Corporal. Dismissed. John. Sarge. One, two, one, two, one. Hold on, I got this. Corporal St. John! <laughs> uh, Wade Taylor is Deacon St. John. <sighs> Taylor, oh, I hear a bike. Tell me you're not out in the shit tracking down that drug trafficker. Okay, okay. <laughs> I won't tell you that. But I am. <laughs> Taylor, you're gonna get yourself killed. No, man, no, no. Hey, I followed a bunch of them up the highway. 97? Hey, hey, it was, no, it was, it was daylight, the weather was clear, and I didn't see a single freak. Uh, but there is this, this group of, of men ended up at the ski lodge. Did you even know there was a ski lodge out here? I didn't know that. Taylor. It's a sweet ass setup too. If I ever decide to bug out, that is. Oh shit! I gotta run. They're, they're stopping at another camp. Taylor out. <laughs> Taylor. Taylor. Oh, damn it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Camp full of squatters. You're the assholes who tried to ambush me. St. John and Captain Corey. St. John and Corey, come back. St. John, I've just spoken with the Colonel. He's assigned you to the Research Division? Captain? Uh, Research Division, or, uh, yes, call it that. Uh, I'm helping Lieutenant Weaver and Lieutenant Whitaker. Good. They can use all the help you can offer. I don't know how much help I'm gonna be, and just sort of their errand.